Yeah, you goofball. Yeah, yeah. Some animals can stay for weeks, even months at a time while waiting to find their forever home. ABC 27's Ariel Schiller visited a shelter to find out what challenges they're facing in getting animals adopted. Tallahassee Animal Services has more than 100 animals available for adoption right now. Some animals have been here for a few days, while others have been here for hundreds of days. Shelter staff says the hardest animals to adopt out are large dogs. Working with animals might seem like a dream come true, but for the staff at Tallahassee Animal Services, like Aaron Milligan, seeing animals stay here for weeks and months at a time can take its toll. It can definitely be emotionally draining. Um, I've been here 16 years, so you definitely find a way to get through it um, and just do as much as you can. Erica Leckington, director for Tallahassee Animal Services, explains the challenges they face. We're dealing up with up to 5,000 animals a year um, and we have a team of about 30 uh, full-time employees that helps out with that. We have a full service vet clinic, we have a robust uh, volunteer and fostering program and many of us do take animals home and foster them as well. <laughs> Tallahassee being a college town also provides challenges for pet adoption. We searched apartments.com and found that 17 apartments around the Midtown area are pet friendly. But sometimes those apartments have restrictions on animals that can live on property. The bigger dogs are a little bit harder to place due to weight restrictions and breed restrictions. Most of our dogs though, we, we don't even know what breed they are. It's just a educated guess. Also, the cost of an animal is a factor for people. It's harder to find people that within their budget can have a pet and even if they can afford the housing then there's the pet fees and such that go along with that to allow the pet in those so it, it's a struggle. Outside of fostering there's also other ways they help dogs in their care. We also have enrichment that we provide them every day our volunteers are going through making sure that they have something to chew on, soft bedding to lay on and all sorts of different things to, to stimulate their mind as well as their body. Hey pretty girl. For Milligan, she does as much as she can to help the animals and the people adopting them. Helping the ones that I can, um, trying to educate people, that's a huge thing that I try to do is trying to educate people so that we don't see them in the future for having to surrender. While adopting a pet does help the shelter, there are other ways you can help, including neutering or spaying your pet, microchipping your pet, or volunteering or fostering. Reporting in Tallahassee, Ariel Schiller, ABC 27.